along here. You guys having fun out there? All right, make some noise for your next comedian, Mike Ryan, everybody. Mike Ryan is next on Kill Tony. How's everybody feeling tonight? I was feeling pretty good to this gay comic back there. He said I'm dressed like Fat Forrest Gump. His name was Jackson Nami. So I don't know if you guys can tell by my uh, general demeanor or my fashion sense, but I go to a lot of strip clubs. <laughs> Recently, I went to uh, the Yellow Rose, right? Yeah. I heard about it on the show. wanted to go check it out. I, um, I actually saw a blind guy there. I was like, damn, dude, it's probably cheaper to listen to Akon at home. <laughs> He was, he was singing really loud. He was like, I see you winding and grinding up on that pole. I was like, no, you don't. I felt pretty bad, though, because he threw like 600 singles at the cigarette machine. Thank you. Make some noise for Mike Ryan, everybody. Very fun performance. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was fantastic. That blind strip club Akon joke. Absolutely incredible. One of my favorites of the night. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, four months. Four months? Yeah. Wow. This is so, a very backwards so, uh, episode. Wait, wait, wait. So, Literally, uh, the two worst sets of the night were the two guys that have been doing it six years. <laughs> The next best set was two and a half years, and you're four months with Yeah, so I worked with a guy, and he told me about this show. You, what do you do for uh, work? Um, I'm a logistics coordinator in the refineries in Houston. Okay. Um, he, told me, he told me about this show, and uh, I started watching it. I fell in love, and I just started right in a minute. I, uh, I started going to the Seeker Group in yeah. Houston. Yeah. Shout out to Seeker Group. Yeah, uh, we love this Seeker shout Group. Shout out to Andrew Youngblood. I produce his podcast now. Yeah. Um, and this is the Mess Hall Podcast. Check it out. Sorry to plug a podcast on here. We know uh, Andrew. Yeah, so Seeker cool. Group is um, amazing. We, I just saw Andrew open for Mark Norman in Houston as well, and it was, it was great, man. Right. So I just I fell in love with comedy from watching this show. Okay. So. I love it. Absolutely. I've, I've, I've signed up uh, multiple times, and every time that I've signed up, somebody that rode with me got pulled uh, so we'll load in, uh, Trey Campbell's a good friend of mine as okay. well. Like he's been one, yeah, he's been one of the guys that's helped me out a lot. Okay. I recently had him in my podcast as well. I love it. How old are you? I am 36. 36. What's your living situation? Uh, so <laughs> I get the, I get like barn or shed vibes from you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I have a house. Uh, your own house. Yeah, I have a house. Well, so when my wife left, I moved in a roommate, but because uh, I didn't want to live alone. But okay, how long ago did your how wife? How you like me now? Hell yeah, there you go, big winner. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Hell yeah, hell Absolutely. Yeah. So when did your wife leave you? She left in June. So I got married in October, and then she left in June the next year. <laughs> I waited 35 years to get married. I'm like, I'm never getting married. I met her. Fell head over heels. We got married, and six months later, I came home. She's like, I don't want to be married to you Why anymore. Why didn't she want to be married to you anymore? What's the real reason? Did the, uh, did the so my best friend and best man, uh, he actually uh, died on my wedding day. Uh, yeah. Wait a second. So, so I just kind of emotionally shut down immediately. For, oh, my God. How did he die on your wedding day? He was day? murdered. He was murdered yeah. on your wedding day. Well, so where got, was your wedding he got, at? He got shot two days before, and he died an hour uh, before the ceremony. You didn't reschedule the wedding? No, I just... Your best man got yeah. shot two days before. Yeah. How did well, he... Well, I went to the hospital, and they told me he was going to be fine. And then when they went to do the second surgery to close him up... Uh, wow. Wow. I thought it happened at the wedding. That'd be like a live clue event. Like, who done it? Yeah, right. Bro, Houston's hood it. is fuck, dude. Like, I don't know if you know about Houston, man, but it's yeah. Hood. Well, you know, know that's why it. a lot of people that live in Houston keep their arms crossed so that they have a natural, uh, a natural shield to bullets. Uh, Did they that find is, the murderer? 
No. Damn. No, they didn't. they never large. found out who shot no. him. What was so, he involved with to have so that? So he owned a, a very successful recording studio. And um, he was recording some rappers, and he left to go to the store. Apparently, some guys and some alternate crews got into it. They had a shootout in the studio. He pulled up in the driveway, and they thought that he was like this other person coming back or something. That's, that's as much as I can assume that happened. Well, country singers, right? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to say the rapper's name, but uh, one day. Why won't you say the rapper's name? I'm not going to implicate somebody if I don't know for sure. You think that a rapper shot your best friend? I think it's somebody in his posse, dude. <sighs> wow, this is all so interesting. Yeah, thank you. We got to solve was this. Was it Akon? <laughs> 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 I fucking love you, Tony. Aw, <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Hey, Jackson loves you too, boy. Man. He rode with me. Jackson rode with me. Nami? Yeah, he rode with me. Oh, you guys are friends. Yeah, we're, we're from Houston's tight knit, bro. Houston. Hell like, yeah! Well, Houston comedy. His asshole is not tight knit at all. <laughs> you, Let me you're, tell you, yeah. and I know from experience. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you think he got the spot? <laughs> Bro, this is so surreal right now. Literally, this is my only goal in comedy. I only prepared minutes. I do five-minute mics, but I just do five one-minute sets. And, Incredible. Uh, yeah. Well, here you are. You're doing it. Yeah. I love that. So uh, you, your wife left you. You emotionally Thanks shut down. Thanks for bringing that back up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you communicated with, it, with her at all? Yeah, uh, she texted me today. Yeah. No, we're still friends. Like, that's the thing is um, she, she's younger. And um, when she said that she didn't want to be with me, I loved her enough to let her go. Like, uh, I didn't want her to be unhappy and just stay with me just to do it. She's got her whole life ahead of her. You're a sweet man. Thanks. Look at you. Thanks. Incredible. Guess what? If she comes back, she's yours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's what they say. <laughs> if they come back. If they come back, it's time to kick your roommate out. <laughs> you have any other, you have so much charisma. You do other things on stage. You have any other special skills uh, or so talents? I used to be uh, in, I used to be a rapper. No way. I'm, I'm, please. No, you got to be kidding I'm not me. doing it. Please, I'm not doing it. No, so you got to be no, fucking no. kidding no, me. No, so I, I rapped over dubstep. This was uh, when. Not, you forgot about Dre? Yeah, no. So, so, uh, so when, when dubstep first became popular. I was one of the promoters in Houston that was doing dubstep shows and I also emceed over it. And I had a fairly successful local career, played on a few festivals, stuff like that. But yeah, you would never believe it by looking at me, huh? We absolutely have to get at least a sample. You can uh, improvise. If you don't do good, it's yeah. okay. Because we know we're just it's putting you on so the spot. Bad, the whole been, thing's improvised. Any... One, two, you have to do one, it. You have two, to do it. three, four. That's dubstep. <laughs> Rhymes be subliminal. I used to be a criminal, but now I'm hopping on this mic. I'm golden like the mineral, so take it like it's literal. Real talk, real walk. If a hater's talking shit, his body's lined in white chalk. That was amazing. Bro, I know I this so uh, this entire get up, right? I've been growing the mullet out to get on this show. This whole this, this you is grew not, the mullet this out is, just to is, be on this, this show. Is, this is not me, bro. This is not me. I'm hood, dog. I'm I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, like my hands are tattooed, man. Like, I don't know what to fucking tell you, bro. I love it. I love it. Ace down, baby. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> wow. This is incredible. You do have tattooed hands. Ace down till I drown. Okay. We almost did in Harvey too, man. It was all right. You you almost drowned in the hurricane. <laughs> it was bad, bro. It was fucking <laughs> oh my goodness. We lost, a bunch of my friends lost their houses. It's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. But it, you didn't lose your house. Nah, nah, nah. No. Just his wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the flood. <laughs> she floated on oh, down yeah. the river. It's all right, though, dude, because I feel like I'm going to do all right with the ladies when this comes Hell out, yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck yeah. No doubt. Wow. You know, uh, 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 Trey is on the Secret Show Thursday. If you want to take a ride up with him and do your I'll five minutes at the him, Secret bro. Show. Hell yeah, right, dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Kill Tony debut of Mike Ryan, and you're leaving oh, with a shit. big joke, Buck. Oh, there oh, he is. Thank you. Hey, thank you, bro. And Mike Ryan, you did it, dude. Very exciting. Well, he's been doing it for four 